Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we will discuss about Twitter OSINT in a manual way. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, first of all, really, really thank you guys for all your support. So you had uh, made me reach more than 3000 subscribers and also guys, if you are having any doubts, make sure you check out my discord server. So where you can get your doubts clarified and if you want to connect to me you can check out my twitter and linkedin the links are in the description below so guys in the previous uh, one of the previous video i had discussed about doing the twitter osin uh, by some automated tools right but always uh, not depending always on the automated tools doesn't work all the time because there might be some issues with the tools or sometimes the tool might uh, be uh, under uh, what you call development and some features might not work so it is always a best way in a uh, best way to keep or to know how the manual things work as well so as we discussed so we will discuss about twitter osint now so first of all for this the main process you need to have uh, the main thing that you need to have is a twitter account so if you are trying to do without a twitter account you might not get uh, you might not uh, get all the features but uh, creating a twitter account is also is always fine and also guys if you are not following me on twitter so you can follow me at my id nullshock1 where you can contact me or uh, you can uh, connect to me there so guys uh, so as always so the twitter osin so if you know the twitter is a uh, right now the more uh, one of the most used social media platform you can see most of the celebrities most of the updates uh, regarding some various uh, from various celebrities and stuff you can see first of all they reach from the twitter and also every common man or most celebrities and most people use the twitter nowadays so it is always a best way to keep an eye on this social media platform as well there are other platforms as well but a twitter is something more uh, like you can look on twitter for more information kind of thing so here uh, you can see so the in twitter you can see something called as name tag Okay, in Twitter there is something called as name tag here. So, so in Twitter there is something called as name tag. So if you can see, so my tag, uh, the tag or the ID you can see is null shock one. So this particular ID is unique for me. Okay, so this particular thing is unique for me, and it will be unique for everyone. Okay, like uh, no, no, no two persons might have the same kind of uh, user ID here. Okay, so this is like something called as unique. Okay, so most of the time we need to find out uh, this particular user ID. Let's think first of all, the main thing that you need to do uh, while doing Twitter OSINT or uh, for doing anything is you need to find out the ID of that person. Okay, so let me uh, find out my ID itself. So size of week and let me hit enter. So here, uh, this is the search tab guys. In the search tab, I simply searched for the size of week and you can see in the top results you can find out the results uh, from the various people and here if you go to the people's tab you can see the people uh, having the name sai sattvik okay so this is my uh, account so right now i'll be targeting my account itself okay i'm not i don't want to harm anyone or i don't want to reveal any data of others so here you can conclude that my id is at the rate null shock one so at the rate is something but null shock one is the name tag that i'm uh, having right now okay so now uh what we'll do is we'll simply start uh, doing this stuff okay so as always after finding out that id so you need to do what you need to do is you can simply go ahead so here you can see something called as search here like if you can go to the explore tab and here in the search uh twitter you can see something called as search twitter so the best thing you can do is so always you can simply type uh, the id with having with attached null shock sorry at the rate okay uh, null shock one and you can see uh, all the tweets uh, that you can find out where at the rate null shock one is uh, like mentioned there okay so that is a thing okay and uh, that is a common thing so now if let's think that you want to see all the tweets from this particular person from this particular person named as null shock one so there is a dark so if you are familiar with google dorking then even this is like that okay where you can specify some words keywords kind of thing so from and you can simply specify the colon here and you can provide the id here and you can simply hit enter okay now you can see all the tweets from this particular person okay so what, what all these things are called as tweets and you can see now all the tweets from this particular person called as nullshock1 
okay like this you can do for any anyone okay i'm showing you on myself itself but if you want you can do to anyone okay so and also as there is from there will be also something called as to okay so if there is someone mentioning me okay like um, if you take this particular person is mentioning me okay and uh, there is some person who are mentioning me as well okay like if i am replying to my own tweet you can see that i am replying to a null shock one like myself itself so i am sending a tweet to myself as well so you can see this is how like if someone uh, comments or anything like that you can see it is going to me okay it's like it's going to that particular person okay so that is the thing uh this is the second dark so the first dark is from and the second one is to okay and as always guys uh, you can use the two dogs uh interchangeably as well okay like from this particular person to from that particular person okay you can keep on doing kind that kind of stuff okay and also guys uh in twitter there is something called as a uh, tags hashtag so hashtag is something like uh it's like division okay let us think if you take a hashtag called as ethical hacking then you'll find out some tweets which are related to ethical hacking like if 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 i mention a hashtag within my tweet okay like hashtag ethical hacking then you can find out all the tags which are in that region so you can simply search for the hashtag as well so you might know what hashtag is uh, if you are a user of a social media so if you type hashtag infosec you can see all the tweets uh, which consists of this particular infosec okay like also you can add some other keywords like uh, let me mention my name as well or any other string so you can see uh, that's uh, this is my this is related to my tweet like i mentioned infosec uh, hashtag here and also since my name is sai sadvik it is uh, trying to find out like this okay or you can do something like uh, from great null shock 1 so now you can see all the tweets okay from this particular null shock 1 person uh, which is uh, having this infosec mentioned okay so this is a kind of cool thing as well okay and as always you don't need to even look for a hashtag or anything like that you can simply search for something uh, like let us assume like virat kohli okay so he is a cricketer so you can simply mention any uh, string like a keyword like in google search and you will find out all the tweets which are related to this particular thing and one more disadvantages of searching like this is so what the uh, twitter looks for is like it looks for a uh, virat and kohli separately okay but let us assume that you want to find out them like strictly want to find virat kohli then you need to enclose the particular string or the keyword within the quotes okay and you can simply hit enter here now you can see all the tweets which consists of virat kohli it's not like virat and kohli okay so that is the thing here so that is a cool thing here so you can do uh, like that okay so these are something and there are a few more others as well so you can also specify the timings as well okay like you can specify the tweet time so let me show, uh, let me like let's think you want to dig my tweets okay from like uh, from this particular month like uh, what are all the tweets that i tweeted in this particular month of 2021 okay so what we can try to do is from okay and uh, null shock 1 and since okay since is another what you call a dark kind of thing so since let us assume that so since in the uh, the format will be like year so 2021 okay and uh, we we'll look for this particular month only uh, from uh, since 01 okay like from the start of the september uh, to like until as well okay and there is other keyword until as well so first of all let me show you this thing So you can see all the tweets that are from September uh, first onwards. Like I haven't tweeted much in the September month, but you can see these are all the tweets. Like I try to uh, optimize the results. Okay, so this is same like Google docking only, but here the things might be little bit different. Okay, like the docs might be little bit different here. Okay, so you can see these are some tweets that I had uh, mentioned, and you can also do something like until. Okay, so there is something called as like to put a pull stop. So until. so what you can do is 2021 uh, to 9 to 10 let us assume like that or 11 okay like i am looking for all the tweets that this particular has a uh, particular person has tweeted from uh, 1st september 2021 to 11 september 2021 let me hit enter this so there are no tweets so you can go to the latest tab you can go to the people you can go to the photos you can go to the video tab okay like you can search for from everywhere like if there is a tweet in that from particular person 
like at that particular stamp time stamp then you'll definitely find that okay if there is nothing then you might not find it okay like this you can try to do it's not only from from it can be also from two okay like uh, uh like there is a person uh, there is a person uh, who uh tweeted to me or this particular null shock one so reply also comes to two only okay like if you take a tweet here you can see it is replying two okay so during this uh during this september 3rd so there is a person so there is a person who tweeted that okay like this you can try to uh optimize the results okay like you can try to optimize the results okay so that is the cool thing uh with the help of this uh since and until okay and there is something cool as well so let us assume that you want to find out all the tweets okay which are related to this particular region so region in the sense map so let me open a google map so i'll open a simple google map and i'll choose some location so i'll choose delhi here let us assume so let i'm taking delhi as uh, delhi as my point here so let us think i'm looking for all the people okay so you can see the coordinates okay so this is the delhi map so right now i'm in india so i'm showing you that okay so you can see the delhi map so what i'll try to do right now is so in twitter there is something called as location tagging or geo tagging like uh, like you don't need to give permissions but it will try to find out like if the location is turned turned on on your device or on the person who is tweeting then the coordinates get uh stored okay like it it is uh, stored like it is not visible to everyone but uh, it is only visible to the twitter like for uh, what you call for segregating kind of things okay like for let's think that you are a person in delhi okay so this twitter will throw you some tweets that might be related to that particular region you are in okay but we can make use of this as well so the first and the foremost thing you need to find out here is latitude and the longitude of a location so as i choose here delhi so you can see this is my url guys so this is a simple thing you might understand what the url is so you can see there is something called like this 28 point uh, something like that right sorry so you can see this particular two things like this is the latitude and this is the longitude okay so 28.5945971 comma 7 uh, 76.4751428 so these are latitude and the longitude so you need to find out the latitude and the longitude of the place okay so that is the first thing you need to do and then you can simply go to the twitter okay uh, like you can simply add something so there is a dark here named as a geo code okay so there is a dark here from the geo code and you can paste the uh, latitude and the longitude there and uh, now what you can do is you need to so there is another uh, option that you need to specify is the range let us think that there is this particular location uh, so let me so let me point out to so this there is this particular location i want to look for okay so i'm looking for the radius of this location like how many kilometers from this point okay like radius you, uh, you might know what circle is right so that is how the radius like i'm looking for all the tweets within that uh, uh, within a radius so i need to specify my radius here like let us give let me give five kilometers here and let me hit enter now you can see some tweets uh like they haven't mentioned any date or like they haven't mentioned anything here regarding their location but you can see the twitter is showing us the tweets which are look uh, which the people uh, which the people tweeted from some delhi five kilometer radius okay from the center of delhi five kilometers radius so like this guys you can do and also uh, you can do something like when i'll add also something like from here like you can keep on adding the dorks so that is a thing uh, that's the cool thing you can do like, you can keep on adding dogs like i haven't uh, tweeted anything from delhi okay and also guys this geo uh, tagging location can be disabled okay you might not you might not find out all the time the geo code works sometimes it might work okay and uh, by adding some other extra tags like from to or uh, uh, you can add some keywords kind of thing or hashtags so with the help of that you can try to optimize the results much more okay so i'll show you some more as well okay so so these are some tags guys okay so let's think so i'm looking for the phone number for this of the uh, phone number for from this particular person like let's think that this particular person had uh, mentioned his phone number so phone 
Okay, so what I did here, so I I'm looking for all the tweets uh, from this person, which includes phone here. So what is the best thing that can happen is so sometimes you might find out his phone number like sometimes the people give their phone numbers for the business purposes right so with the help of this uh, like with the help of keeping keep on adding these things like uh, like you can create some docs here like kind of docs and you can try to dig tweets or you can try to find out some information okay so this is everything guys regarding this video i hope this video is clear so you don't need to uh, you don't need to install any tools or anything like that this is a simple a uh, kind of video so what you simply need is a twitter account and an internet connection and a browser so you can uh, dig the tweets from the internet okay so that is it guys for today uh, if you have any doubts make sure you comment below or you can connect me on discord and also if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with the others as well so that this content could reach more people and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you